Lehi's back. The Kingdom of Arusia declared war on the Ocean Federation. But isn't that country a whole continent away from here? Yet what is a nation? Well, the is over. The enemies in the cloud. Damn it. All squadrons be advised. Destroy the arsenal bird. Whether you'll live or die. Sure, I'm probably heading straight into hell, but <laughs> whatever. You know what, Trigger? Why don't you lead and I'll follow? Adios, you damn fool. Imagine what it is like to follow in the footsteps of giants. On a planet just like Earth. Dinosaurs. From millions of years ago. Are back. You want to know more about them? They are no longer just pictures in a book. Or fossils in a museum. They are living, breathing, roaring giants. Standing next to you. their own customized imp who goes everywhere with you in dreams. You use your imp to explore, communicate with the people and characters that you meet. So imps are very nimble. They follow your movement with the controller exactly. And Mark can even change their expression, drawing a new mouth shape with the touchpad on the DualShock controller. <laughs> so as well as exploring, you can use the imp to grab, pull, and poke at the world. It's very direct tactile level out of pre-existing assets. But of course, in dreams, you can create, remix, and sculpt your own. Well, we won't go into that today. There you go. I'm just going to wander back down here. And there's a rather exciting looking item there. Some kind of house or shed. Just put one of those there. Should we go in? Go on, Mark. Take the plunge. I'm a little bit. Kind of scared. Just have a little peek around the corner there. All right. Okay, here we go.
After the drowning, a vast ocean covered the earth. But the survivors united to reclaim what land they could. Newfound wealth awakened envy and greed. Now civil war threatens to tear humanity apart once again. Comic-Con showing a preview of John Wick Chronicles and Eye for an Eye. It's a collaboration between Starbury Studios and Lionsgate first and foremost and that we've included other development partners like Big Red Button, Grab Studios and Gameco. We felt like it was a really exciting property to bring into the world of games and particularly in virtual reality because it's just such an immersive world and the first film almost feels like a video game or a graphic novel because it's so rich in action. It was a lot of fun, action-packed. It was uh, really easy to get into. This is my first time on a Vive. We're showcasing a demo of the game, so it's seven minutes long. It all starts off with you walking into the Continental, and you meet with the concierge, who's played by Lance Reddick. You can actually move around using the room scale feature of the HTC Vive. So you can check things out. After that, we show you how a, a short tutorial on how to utilize the weapons, and then we throw you right in it. It's intense. I just got off of it, and I'm still hyped up, so it doesn't compare to, to a video game. The way we're thinking about VR at Lionsgate is it's a really wonderful way for us to extend the storytelling that we do in a traditional medium, whether that's film or TV. It's about creating something that is more immersive than any of these two platforms combined. Had a lot of fun. You get to be John Wick, which I certainly came as today. It really gives them a chance to further extend their fandom with, with a specific property. and also gives us an opportunity as content creators to find new ways to build upon the rich worlds that our, their filmmakers or show owners are creating. We wanted to make sure that we're staying loyal to the film and to the world of the film. But we definitely see this as a distinct product and feel very lucky to be partnered with Starbreeze, which is a AAA game developer and publisher. Being able to take their first-person shooter expertise, bringing it into VR with a property like John Wick is extremely exciting for us. To work with virtual reality, Reality is something different indeed. You are the controller. You utilize the two controllers that HTC Vive allows you to. As soon as I got up to the roof area, I'm pretty sure I looked pretty gangsta, like <laughs> all over this floor. It's as if I became John Wick again. The shootouts, the multiple weapons, the taking down enemies. It's nothing I've, I've ever experienced, to be honest. I kept forgetting where I was. Like everything was pristine. We could really get lost in there. We currently at New York Comic Con announced that you can pre order the game on Steam. And if you do that, you also get a free copy of Payday, which is Starbreeze's first person shooter game, as well as a John Wick weapon pack. The movie's coming out on February 10th, so it's great because you're gonna go check out the movie and you can't wait for the game to come out. Hello? Go 
Oh God, this is... How did this happen? Wait, is that a problem? is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. 
Morning, Sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Echo unit identified. Sensor array ahead. Please follow. I have a visual on the anomaly. It seems to be growing more unstable. Expect electrical interference. Jack, what happened? Energy spike from the anomaly. Okay, you'll need to cut through to access the fuse box. Jack, I need you. Find a Fury transport and get back here now. Inbound on your location. Are you alright? Oh, thank God for you. It, it just switched on. Anomaly detected. What the hell? Jack, are you see? Say hello to the latest member of the RoboReady family. Presenting the Tau Series 9. Every bolt, every component has been meticulously designed. Tau will obey any command. It lives to serve. Serve this. We are now getting reports of such robot violence. Tau features convenient transport handles. Why did they add handles? As well as easily replaceable parts. Hey, I'm using that. And is built from impact resistant materials. Booyah! Trouble free service is guaranteed by our Robo Recall Program. I see it. Unstoppable. Making your life better, one robot at a time. We've been punished by an endless winter for a generation, with no end in sight. Decades of technological progress could not prepare us for what happened. Vostok was first to feel it, and first to fall. For you, this is a job. For us, it is hope of another chance. Watch. Stay vigilant. Protect our home. This place is incredible. <laughs> What's your suit on those rocks? We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. Come on. We have to keep moving. You know, I bet this place isn't even on the star charts. Analyzing surroundings. Unknown environment. Unknown atmosphere. Wow. Unknown location. Wait. What the hell is that? Welcome, do you copy? Do you see this? in an instant, whether or not you're ready. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. This time I'm ready, because I know war. War never changes. 
I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man, even if that man is a synth? Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Don't shoot! I swear, I'm not a sin. For God's sakes, we're family! This is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. Protect the people at a minute's notice. And decide our own future. You're a man out of time. But Paul's not lost. This campaign will be costly. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. So where is it? This institute. How do I get there? Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you.